So, today labeling occupies a really important part of our life. The label songs, paintings, food, brands, and even ideas. Today, everything that surrounds us has a title, and why? If we look closer on this statement, we'll find out that not every title relates to the object it appears. So, have you ever thought about this in your life? While attending exhibitions, let's say, weren't you trying to find at least something that connects the object to the title? Just something. Or, have you ever thought of naming a table a chair, or window a door? I guess not. But, what stops you from doing that? Probably or the existing title. How about the painting shown on the screen? So, this is the famous painting by Jonas Werner called The Girl with a Pure Earring. It's pretty usual since we see the girl and we see the pure earring. That absolutely matches with the title. How about this example? So, this is the famous painting by a CM coach called Dogs Playing Poker, which was commissioned to advertise a cigar. What we notice is that dogs are given human characteristics of playing poker. That's uh, kind of unusual, but this absolutely matches with the title. But have you ever thought of the painting that has absolutely no connection with the title of cares? If no, let's take a look on the following example on the screen. Um, this is the painting by Claude Monet called Venice with Alien Firebombs. At the first glance observing this painting, I personally wanted to find something like um, some kind of bomb or even the Angry Birds, just something that would connect this to the Alien Firebombs. However, if we look to the original version of the painting, we will find out that it shows on the Venice or even on the Venice during the sunset. And all of you now might think that this happens only with music uh, or only with painting. However, it also occurs with music. So we often notice that songs have titles that are absolutely have absolutely no connection with the song itself. So what if we'll now listen to the particular compositions and try to guess the title, try to feel, try to just imagine where could it be played. So I also would like to mention that if now you are going to listen to the composition and try to imagine, I was doing that a different way. I was imagining all the knowing the title. So let's compare our imagination. Here's the first composition. So, what do you feel? What do you imagine? Can someone say? Yes, please. Spring. Spring, all right. What else? Yeah. In the palace. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. In the palace. Okay. Any other ideas? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right, but. Okay, but I personally imagine myself walking over the city streets during the summer, during the sunny day, having a good mood. However, I was influenced by the title, so this is the summer by Antonio Vivaldi, famous uh, composer. Yeah, famous composer, uh, Antonio Vivaldi, and this is a song from the famous set of the concertos called uh, um, The Four Seasons. So, so what if we listen to some, another song, say another composition, and try to get the same thing?
right, so what about now? What do you feel now? What do you imagine? Peace. All right. Now I lost my lover. Yeah. Well, any other ideas? Yeah, it might be. So, actually, what I mentioned this time, uh, being in the park, you know, like doing the autumn exactly, with a lot of tall leaves around me. So, this is uh, October by the famous Russian composer Tchaikovsky. So, and uh, I was influenced again by the title, so, but this is still not enough to prove all of you today that Titus is really the sea. So, what if you now imagine? Uh, yourself walking around the city streets trying to find a place for watching for you, the football game of your favorite football club. For what type of place are you going to search? How is it going to be named? Like maybe something like Acid Bar, Georgian Pub, or Pub Avalon? Um, why would you consider words pub and bar the places for watching the football or drinking beer with your mates? Um, since we already automatically know that those places are places for watching football and drinking beer. However, we are deceived again. The words pub and bar are not always, aren't necessarily mean that those are the places for watching football and drinking beer. So, what's the idea of all my speech today? Um, is to prove all of you that titles are not always related to the object they carry. So, we think that labeling everything around us or na giving names to everything around us makes us identify the object easier. No, or maybe partially yes, but it's important to mention that those names deceive. Thank you.